today I'm going to be talking to you about SMO. What is SMO? SMO is an acronym for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility. It is an artificial intelligence robot developed by Honda. This amazing robot can recognize moving objects, faces, postures, like postures are if you're really angry, you go like that, and, gest and gestures, which is like you point somewhere, it'll look towards where you're pointing. It can also walk and run and pick up objects. This is SMO working out. You can see he's about my size, um, and he walks like he has actual muscles, like us humans. SMO can pick up a drink, unscrew the lid, and pour it into a cup. This is a great achievement for robots since most robots can't really have a steady hand and then they always miss and pour into like dirt, pour tea into the floor. This is the evolution of SMO. Um, well, what I think is before they had like big tanks on the top to fill with all of the energy and they, in my opinion, they look like toasters with legs. <laughs> and then they started growing arms because the people wanted them to like look a bit like humans. And then they soon made it white and kind of futuristic because people like white and futuristic. And it turned it smaller and smaller to look not so hostile and gigantic and evil robot. Okay, that's about SMO. SMO, SMO's mass is currently 48 kgs, which is quite heavy compared to a baby, or me, kind of the same weight as me. SMO runs on lithium ion batteries, which have 61.8 volts, and they weigh 6 kgs, kilograms. Um, these put in like 10% of SMO's weight, which is quite heavy, they need lots of batteries. SMO is 57 degrees of freedom right now, which means he, has, he can move his body 57 degrees both ways, and he can reach out like that, 57 degrees. And he has a three-dimensional computer processor, which is a new kind of computer processor, which is like a cube, and then they, you put it in. It's, it's supposed to be faster than normal ones, and it's engineered by Honda and lots of people are making them too. And SMO can play football. Look, they're playing football. <laughs> SMO's parts. This is the camera. He can, where he can see your gestures, your postures, and your faces. So he can recognize you and he can also see if he's going to walk into a wall and not bump straight into it. This is his battery. His battery is in his backpack, um, which also holds his antennae. And the battery is, of course, lithium ion right now, and it's 6 kg. This over here is a gyroscope and accelerator sensor. The gyroscope helps see if it's upright or not, so it can climb back up if it's if it's fallen down, because it can see using the gyroscope. And the accelerator is see if it has to run really fast or not, if it needs more power. This is the antennae, which is also stored in the backpack. It's, if you have like a remote control, you can control it from there. <coughs> and the backpack, of course, holds the antenna and the battery. It's just basically that. This is a GAF of SMO. GAF stands for Graphics Interchange Format. They're simply moving pictures. This is a GIF. This is SMO running. Um, you, now you can see again his muscle, they're like our human muscles, because um, they wanted them to look quite humanoid and different from most of the other robots. And he looks like a spaceman when he's walking. And this is him dodging people. As you can see here, he is about as big as a tall lady, and 
when he walks, he can his camera still works and he can see if there's anything in front of him, and he can move away from this lady if he wants to. What I think of SMO. Since SMO has a steady hand and whilst pouring liquids, I think since it will not be harmed by chemical reactions, SMOs could be scientist helpers. When there's a new when there's a new combination to try out, and it could harm the scientists like really bad, like it could be it could explode in their faces and burn them to death. They could call SMO to help them pour the two chemicals together, and instead SMO will explode. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, say there was a nuclear explosion. Instead of an incident with the rescue team dying of radiation, because they try to find other people who are hurt and inhaling radiation in ways, and SMO could go instead of the rescue team. Then the pie chart will be out of 100. Alive people will be two. Dead people. Alive people will be 45 alive people. Two dead people. About three, um, 33 alive team guys and one dead team guy who killed himself. He was really angry. And alive SMOs, there are 10. And dead SMOs, they're malfunctioning. They got them malfunctioning. Really sad. SMO is what you should name your children. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>